father forbid me from leaving the house. This consolation you provided me with a phone and a laptop. I used my I used to email my sister with it. It's the only thing that made me happy. Couldn't you have contacted someone to help you? Ah shit. Liliana! It's okay. Let the adults handle this. In the first game, this, if you didn't watch my playthrough of the first game, this right here is my original Death End and Request 1 party. Sheena, Lily, and Silica. Death and your request too. It's been a few days since I've done some recording for this, mostly because I was first doing a bunch of editing and then it went to level grinding, then I went back to recording, editing, level grinding, and then I did other things and then I finished up Resident Evil 3 completely. And now we're back onto this because I have nothing else I can do. So, we have ourselves some uh Camp events. This is our fifth batch of camping events, isn't it? What, Roddy? What's going on with your name tag and stuff? Why is that floating? Anyway, let's get these camp events underway. If I could get a nice angle, good enough. Having a family is so nice, don't you think? Really? People are too selfish. I'd rather be alone. Oh. Don't mind me. That's just my opinion. Tell me how you feel, Roddy. My... Be my family, right now! What did she say, marry me? Stupid Roddy, let go of me! Mine, do you have any hobby other than being on your PC? Hobbies? Maybe reading PC manuals? That falls under the computing hobby. I guess. What about you, Roddy? What are your hobbies? My hobbies are observing you and checking what you're eating and your... I feel like I know what's after this. Sorry, I forget I asked. I'm getting a headache. You mind giving me some space? Like 10 meters? What? Liliana, you sure loved your mom, huh? Seemed like a great lady. Yeah. Did you love your mom, Mai? I... All I remember is a conversation from when I was little. I can't remember much else. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. How about you, Roddy? My mother? We were inseparable when I was a girl, but she's changed a lot since then. Lately, there's been something scary about her. I wonder how she ended up like this. Roddy. Yeah, scary, huh? Yeah. Mother. Is that it? Seeing Liliana happy makes me happy. You too, right, Mai? Anything else? Hey, so you're gonna ignore me, then jump? Are you bored or something? I don't remember her saying that one. <laughs> My, if you jump, your underwear will show. <laughs> the same. I love how they have like nine different things for when you're jumping. 
I can't wait to see what Sheena has to say. You ignore me then jump. <laughs> Alright, I don't think she has any other ones past this now. Okay. Let's talk to Sheena now. I've been wanting to talk to Sheena for a while. Right about right here. Here, like this, maybe? Come on, just let me have something. Let's work with something here. Camera angles. I guess this is the best I can do. There we go. What kind of food do you like, Mai? Such as... As long as it digests, whatever. Oh, come on, that can't be true. I know, what kind of sweets do you like? Not interested, but I suppose I don't mind them. I knew it! There isn't a girl in the world who can't resist who can resist sweets. I don't love them, but the sugary head rushes are fun now and then. Interesting opinion. You're cute on the outside, but you're kind of boyish. Not that it's a bad thing. Sheena, what are you looking at? Not your chest, if that's what you mean. Oh my god. Chest? We forgot Sheena's, uh, yeah. Oh, mine is so small. Not that I'm jealous. This is getting weird. Sure, but a big chest is just an obstacle. Hurts my back, too. Oof, this girl p pities me? Oh. Ah, how lucky I am to be surrounded by so many cuties. Okay, anything else? Hey, Mai, you can talk to me whenever you're stressed. Leave it to your sister. Okay, Sheena. We had jumped to the conclusions. It's like, I think some people are like, wow, Sheena really just, they really changed Sheena. Though, in the first game, she was kind of under stress 100% of the time, so she couldn't act how she does now. Which I bet people are like, she must be lesbian. I'm like, I don't know about that. I think she likes Arda. Anyway. Girl, you don't have to jump so much. <laughs> oh, please tell me you have more than that. Don't tell me they limited you to just one line. Hey, my, are you tired of me? My, I prefer if you didn't jump while we're talking. <laughs> I'm amused by your jumping. Well done. No, no, no. It's impolite to jump in conversation. Man, that, that moment, you freaking just completely ignore the past protagonist by jumping around her. Her past heroine. I really don't... I don't remember if we can really say that Sheena was the protag or not. Well, I guess you could say it's dual protagonist for the first one. I think that's all Sheena has to say. It's kind of dumb that you need to buy Sheena's DLC outfit to get these lines. Two dollars is still two dollars. But I do like Sheena, so... I think that's all we got. Okay. So, to bring you up to speed, with all the grinding I've done, I've gotten basically everybody up to level 60. Everyone's up to level 60. I didn't put them all to level 63 because, well, I'm not gonna be, the, the party we have here, this is the party. This is what we got going on. This is what we're using. I'd also like to check something. See, Sheena's idle animation with her bug. 
you know, if you remember, it circled around her, she poked it, closed her eyes, and smiled. She doesn't do that in her maid uniform. She keeps her eyes open, she barely tilts her head at that point. I want to see if that'll change in her adventure outfit, because if you don't have her in her adventure outfit, you will not see her in camp. I mean, if you have her in an adventure outfit, you can't see her in camp. So I just want to see, is she going to do her idle animation? And also the other girls will not show up in camp anyway, which kind of sucks. Oh my god, and she's not going to do her idle animation at all, at all now, is she? I definitely do prefer her Death in a Request 1 look here than the DLC outfit that she has. Because I like how shiny her little bug stuff is there. I just want you to do your idle animation, please. Please, I'm just... Okay, there we go. Let's see. So yeah, see, she she does it in her normal outfit. But in her maid uniform, she doesn't do the close eyes thing on that. Hmm. Ready for battle. Well. Let's just get going. So we're supposed to be trying to find Liliana and she ran away from her mother losing her shit. I don't remember where in the hell she we go. Let's go. I'm gonna go back to the dormitory and try to see if we can figure out where she went. It is also raining, which I worry that the power could go out, but I guess it's not as bad, so. I still feel like they should have given, like, our past girls all of their outfits, you know? Okay. Um, does this tell me where to go? Bring girl Liliana. Liliana headed north of here. So north of here. Well, that's north, so she's over here. And yeah, her run is also just weird in this outfit. But, I got it, so I might as well just use it, at least for this whole run. Maybe in New Game Plus I'll change it up. And then watch them say, no, you're actually going the wrong way. Ezra, I don't know... Abigail, Liliana, where are you guys? Can anyone hear me? <sighs> no sign of them here. Maybe they went in deeper? Yeah, see, she didn't even close her eyes. Okay, let's get moving. I'm not sure what I'm gonna... No. Oh yeah, everyone does have lines for that, but I'm not gonna be doing that. I don't know when another level grinding opportunity will come out. Will come, I mean, come around. Oh crap, wait a minute, I might actually have to run somewhere else because... Oh crap, he's gonna get me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh, not that way. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a while until I do more level grinding stuff. My, please. You can make the jump. 
Uh. <laughs> Whoa, big guy. I think Mai's got this. Patty, please. I see some. Oh no, wait. Patty, please. I think Mai's got this. All right. <laughs> You can make the jump. Wait. No. Is that a treasure box? SP medicine. Roddy, you can make the jump. Jump! Huh. Is that a treasure box? Dorm area key B. Okay, this will be needed. Oh no, wait. Hang on, wait, no, stop, get off the camera. Why is the game? Where's the shell? Oh. I could totally run by this thing. Nope, too cramped. Gosh dang it, man, I hate running away. I've got business to handle, and you're wasting my time. Anything over here? I wonder why the other, like, girls that we have right now don't have their bugs follow them. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's end this. Leave it to me! You know how useless you fools are. I mean, I could run. Should we? Yeah, why am I not running? I think we should run! Mai, please! I ain't trying to fight nothing around here. Now I can open this. I see something. Had an item. When does this get real bad? Interesting farmhouse. They must have gone. They must. They must have gone far. This is. We're approaching the rural outskirts. It's out of the way, so don't expect to see many people. I see, but you think they came here? The music here is... ooh. Hmm, well, maybe not this exact location. They gotta be close. I feel it in my gut. This is stressing me out, Mai. We need to find them fast. Hmm. The music tells me there's something not good around here. What is this camera even spotting? Other than kind of losing its shit. I don't think the camera really spotted anything. Ah, dang it. Why is it with these games I always mix up? Whoa! I always mix up the buttons and I can't figure out what's what. Jump! Huh. Ratty, you can make the jump. Jump! Wait, what, what would have happened if huh. I used the left that... one? A treasure box? Ratty, you can make the jump. Wait a minute. Huh. What's jump! over here? Huh. There's really just nothing Ratty, over here? Please. I think Roddy could do anything else here. Unless... My, please. Oh, wait a minute. There's a chest here. Is a treasure box? Okay. <laughs> wait, now there's one of the... What the heck? Roddy, you can make the jump. He can't get me up here. Jump! Huh. Had a treasure box. Rule area key B. Let's get out of here. 
Hmm. I should go look around what's over here. You know, we've been playing all this apocalyptic death and despair around every everywhere with the games I've been playing. Maybe the game I'm going to play after this is going to be a very nice change of pace and nostalgia for many uh, teens nowadays and young adults like me. Depending on if they played what I'm going to talk about. So you can come after me, but I'm already a high enough level that I don't really care. Ah, crap. Hi, please. Well, I guess we're gonna find out if they can get you on the camera. <laughs> yeah, but didn't I buy your best weapon in the shop? Also, getting the skills for our past girls was freaking difficult as hell. And I remember this sword, <laughs> I think. <laughs> it was the last sword that Sheena could get in the first game. What? It d mm. I don't have time for Are all you this. Ready? Let's go. We're leaving. Let's retreat. Let's see. Sapphire hair ornament. I gotta get over there. I kinda wanna save the game before touching up on this over here, but... Oh, I remember that guy right there. I remember fighting him in uh, Omega Quintet. As we trekked to the town's rural outskirts, we encountered someone who looked as though their soul had been ripped out. I need to remember the buttons. Come here, menu. I need you. Circle. That's where we all I need is circle. I ran up to Liliana and wrapped my arms around her tiny body. Oh, my Ronnie. Sorry for not finding you sooner. I promise you'll never be alone again. Hold up. Yeah, totally. We're here for you, Liliana. <laughs> Thank you. No, your face is filthy. Let me wipe it. I pulled a handkerchief out of my pocket and wiped Liliana's damn cheeks. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there, there. We're here. Everything's gonna be okay. As we comforted Liliana, she began to regain some of her composure. It was imperative that I took out that I took my time asking her what happened. Liliana, you don't have to answer us right away. But could you tell us what happened with your mom? We were talking alone in the room. It was fine. Until midway through. My mother grinned at me. Okay. Then as we spoke. My mother said, Good girl, Liliana. Mommy wants to live with you again. I was ecstatic, so I pleaded her to live with me. Then... Go on. Then... <laughs> it was like she felt this sudden pain. And she became scary again. At this rate, we could do nothing for Liliana. I didn't want to provoke her just to uncover her past. But it was important we knew. What did she do to you? <laughs> Sorry, that was out of line. If it's painful to talk about, you don't... It's fine. We're friends. You two should know my story. Luliana paused, inhaling deep before she spoke. Before, my mother was so different. So much nicer. 
I was born in a town far, far away. An average family living a quaint life. Liliana, why don't we take you somewhere for our next vacation? Don't be shy. Wherever you want. Your happiness is all that matters to us. I'll be happy anywhere if I have you two. Oh, precious child. <laughs> oh, very well. I will plan a magnificent trip. One you'll never forget. During dinner, my parents and I would eat and talk all night. On their days off, they often took me out. As far as I knew, I had the perfect childhood. One day, the recession hit my father's company hard in the Glen Tundra. I think that's when it all started. My father began to isolate himself. Everything changed. It's only noon and you're drinking already. Why don't you get a job? Oh, when this music plays and the way this is looking, I'm afraid of how this turned out. I've got a feeling I know how this turned out. Shut up! What do you know, woman? Oh no. I ask for an inch and you take a mile. I'm fed up. Huh? What'd you say to me? Say it in my face! I'll say it over and over again. Since you don't work, our home is falling apart. When will you wake up? What the hell? Not you too. You wanna make a fool of me too? Mommy! Daddy! Stop! I woke up to the sounds of my father yelling every morning, followed by some dish or glass shattering. It was like that for a few months. When my grandfather and grandmother, people who were helping us, committed suicide. Ooh. Things between my parents got even worse. And my mom started berating and beating me. Oh no, don't show. No, please. I don't want to hear it. Oh. Mommy? I'm asking what the hell do you think you're looking at? Huh? What the hell are you looking at? Huh? Ouch! Stop! You want to make a fool of me too? Jesus. No! It hurts! After a couple of months, my father locked himself in the basement. Only then did my mom stop hitting me. Sure, it was nice to go without being hit, but I just wanted my parents to talk to one another. I also wanted to talk to my parents like I used to, but I couldn't. I was terrified. <gasps> one day, the police began patrolling our house a lot more often. Eastern region, victim is an older male. Several deep lacerations uh, along the abdomen, internal organs appear to be gouged out. Are you serious? That's the fifth this month. This place is cursed. Could be us next. We can't live like this. Word of the serial killer spread hastily throughout the neighborhood. A few days after the first rumors, I saw my father's basement door cracked ajar. Yeah. Then he was dead. I took a step inside. So I was unprepared for what I saw. Your dad was dead. Murdered. Viciously murdered. It Blood everywhere. Daddy? What are you doing? What is Daddy doing? He's probably dead. Unless your dad was the killer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Liliana. Can't, can't you tell? I'm calling the devil. I need to make him happy. You know, maybe I should have expected this one, actually. See, I thought he was just dead. You know, as I'm expecting death. But never mind, let's call the devil. Organs were strewn all over the basement. A thick pool of blood oozed below. My stomach sank. These are not from an animal. Where did they come from? Obviously all from the people he's been murdering. <laughs> the ghastly sight made me want to vomit. I shivered in place. My feet stuck to the grim colored liquid. Now. I'll bring joy to the world. <laughs> you know, I've heard voices, the devils, 
Once I started listening, I realized all of humanity is depressed. Mm-hmm. What's gotten into you, Daddy? I did what I had to do. Whatever I needed to understand this demon, I'm ready. Snap out of it, Daddy. Oh, what, don't I look normal? Oh, yes, I have a favor to ask. Oh, God. Oh, is he asking, may I borrow your guts, my dear? I'm missing some human organs. <laughs> oh my. Hmm. <laughs> oh, let me go. It's all right. I found the key to instant happiness. Daddy? Oh, Liliana, it's you. What are you doing here? Are you making a fool of me? My father succumbed to his derangement. So I fled from the room. I ran out of the house screaming for help to save my dad from the devil. Shortly after... 